Now, you coming back to this uh, sometime after. We came from a shortly before, because it addressed actually um, one end of the spectrum relative to the others. In other words, the time it takes to purchase assets rel re relative to the time when uh, interest rates could be hiked. And it did say shortly before. So there was an assumption that there would not be such a long period of time between net asset purchases would stop and there would be a rate hike. And it was decided, and we debated that indeed, to replace it with some time after. And that respects the sequencing that we had, which is net asset purchases and subsequently the Governing Council looks at all the data to determine whether it is time to hike rate or not. And clearly, some time after is all-encompassing. It can be the week after, but it can be months later. And by that, I think we, we want to indicate that the time horizon is not what is going to matter most. It's the data that will support the decision that is made by the Governing Council to assess medium-term inflation outlook and whether a rate hike is warranted. You will have noted, by the way, that we have removed the, uh, the bias that we had by eliminating uh, lower in relation to our interest rates. Thank you.